Do you rely on your analyst to perform analysis and could report for you? Now, with ChatGPT Data Analyst, it can perform all kinds of analysis for you, including writing very complex formulas within Excel file directly. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how ChatGPT Data Analyst write function formulas like VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, INDEX, and MATCH some ifs function, some product function. At the end of this video, I will also show you how you can add data analyst into a ChatGPT account. In this Excel file, I have two range. In this range, I have 6,560 records with sales data. We have the cost ID number on the dates. Those customers that bought different professional products for so many cases and dollar amount. And here I wish to show the city, state, and region of those custom ID. Now within this table over here, we'll only have the custom ID number, nothing else regarding custom ID. But we wish to show the city, state, and the region. Now those custom ID are our customers. We know where they are. So I have a lot of table on the left side to show for this company, they have 41 custom ID that are all here, and we know which city, which state they are located. And also we know which region they belong to. So we have all those information available. And now we wish to do formula in column L, M, N to return the city, state, region of those customers. And assuming if I don't know how to do the formula, or what formula to use, then we're going to have the chat GPT data analyst to help us to do the formula. Now, let me go to my chat GPT. Now I'm in my web browser. I have logged into my chat GPT account. And I'm not going to use chat GPT 4. Instead, I'm going to use data analyst. And I will show you at the end of this video how you can add data analyst into your chat GPT account. Now, with data analyst at the bottom in the prompt box, we see the paper clips, which indicate we can drop documents and file into the prompt box. And now I'm going to drag my Excel file and drop over here. And that's the Excel file we are going to use to write the formulas in. And then my prompt will be this. In the attached Excel file, I have sales data in the range G10 to K6570 where row 10 is the header row. This range contains custom ID, and I wish to populate their corresponding city, state, region in the range L11 to N6570. On the left side, in the range A10 to D51, it lists the city, state, region of each custom ID in this company. Please write formulas in the range L11 to L6570 to accomplish this objective. Export the Excel file with formulas in place. Thanks. By the way, I use Microsoft 365 version of Excel. And then I will click on this button to send the message. It took data analysts a little bit time to go through the Excel file and write the formulas. It first examines the contents of the file and then it reiterate the objective, which is to populate the city, state, and region for each custom ID in the range of L11 to N6570. And then it identifies that the custom ID mapping table is in the range A10 to D51, and it provides few sample records over there. Also, it identifies the cell data header is in the range G10 to K10. And then to write the formula, it's going to use a XLOOKUP function. And for the city in the cell L11, it's going to write this XLOOKUP. And for the state in M11, it's going to write this XLOOKUP. And for the region in the cell N11, it's going to write this XLOOKUP function. Now the formula I've been down and then the file is ready for me to download. I click on this link to download this Excel file. So this Excel file downloaded from ChatGPT Data Analyst, it did do the formulas in this range for all those 6,506 records. And the formula for the city is 
XLOOKUP looking for the G11 within the range from A11 to A51 and return the value in the range from B11 to B51. And the fourth argument is blank, which means when the customer is not being found, then return blank. So that's perfect. Now the formula for the state, it's a rather X lookup, similar looking for the customer ID in the cell G11 in the range from A11 to A51, and then return the value in column C from C11 to C51. Again, the blank means when the customer ID is not being found, it's going to return blank. And then for the region, or other X lookup, similar looking for the customer ID within the customer ID range from A11 to A51 and return the region number in the range from D11 to D51. Perfect. And then I ask a lot of follow-up question. So I say, please use three different approaches to accomplish the same objective. I want you to still use formulas. Upon completion, export them in three separate Excel files. So data analyst suggests three different approaches. One, use VLOOKUP. The second, use INDEX and MATCH. And the third, still use XLOOKUP but with different options. And it give us more detail. With VLOOKUP, those are the three VLOOKUP is going to do. With INDEX MATCH, and those are the three INDEX MATCH function is going to do. And for the third, with the XLOOKUP, with different options, which basically saying when the customer ID not being found, return this word not found. And then it generates those three Excel files and give me the link for me to download. Now I download all the three Excel files. This is the first file by using VLOOKUP. Very similar formula. VLOOKUP looking for the customer ID in G11, find that table, return the second column, which will be city. And force for exact match. And for the state, Again, correct formula to return the third column for the region. Again, perfect formula written the fourth column. Now this is second approach by using index match. So index in the range from B11 to B51, which are all the cities, return the value in a position which is identified by this match function. The match function looks for this custom ID in the range from A11 to A51 by doing exact match with match type zero. So this is the correct formula. It looks for that custom ID and give us the corresponding city name. And then for the state, all other index match, return the state name in column C. That's good. And for the region, again, similar formula, looking for the custom ID in custom ID range and return the corresponding value in the region. So that's perfect. Now, this is the third approach by using X lookup again by changing that fourth argument to be the word not found. Before, in the very first response, it was having the fourth argument to be blank. When the cost menu was not found, here it's going to return not found. So this is the correct formula and for state, similar. Again, correct formula and for the region, also correct formula too. It's all good. So with ChatGPT data analyst, it can not only do the right formula for you, it can also do different formulas in different approaches, but still accomplish the same objective. Now for the second task, we have a table over here with sales data showing different customer on different dates, which fall under different phase of the week. They buy different product family or products for so many cases and dollar amount. And this table again has 6,560 records. Given that table, we want to create formula on the side over here to summarize the total cases for each of the week and each of the profamily. Like for the cell M11 over here, we're trying to summarize the cells cases for week number 12 for the CAM profamily. So now we are going to ask ChatGPT to do the formula for us over here. I drag the file into the chat GPT data analyst, the prompt box, which is this Excel file over here. Then my prompt is this. In this attached Excel file, it contains sales data for different customers buying different products at different times. 
row 10 is the header, and the data are in row 11 to row 6570. Please write Excel formulas in the range M11 to P18 to summarize the cells cases for each week in the range of L11 to L18, and each per family in the range M10 to P10. Please use the right formula reference type so the formulas in all those cells are a result of copying cell M11 to the rest. Please export this Excel file with formula in place upon completion. Thanks. So ChatGPT go through this data and understand the data structure, knowing which fields we need to use, which are weak, per family, and cells cases, and it reiterate what the objective is, which is to summarize the cells cases for each per family per week in that range M11 to P18. And it says to accomplish this, it's going to use the sum ifs formula, which is the right formula to use. And here the formula is being done and the file is ready for me to download through this link. This is the Excel file I have downloaded. ChatGPT data analyst did do the formula in this range. And the formula is the sum ifs function to sum the column H when the column F, which is the weak number, equal to L11, which is the weak number over here, and the profamily in column G that equal to this cell M10. So that is the correct formula. And for the dry goods or other sum ifs function, also correct formula, frozen or other sum ifs, and finger food or other sum ifs. So actually, if I was to do the formula myself, I might do it in a slightly different way. I would have this M10 reference to be locking the row and leave the column to be open so the column can change. But here, ChatGPT did this as four separate formulas rather than creating one single formula, copying one formula to the entire range. But anyway, the formula is still correct, give us the right result. Now let's go back to the ChatGPT data analyst. Here I ask a lot of follow-up questions, so I say please use a different approach to accomplish the same objective. Please still use only formulas. Data analyst says to achieve the same objective using a different approach, we can employ an alternative formula, like to use the index, match, and sum, and this approach will involve certain things, and then however, because Excel formula have a limitation in directly performing array operations without entering them as array formulas, I think that's not the best idea. So let's proceed with a compatible and straightforward approach using some pro function, which I agree the sum product definitely is much more simpler and straightforward than using index match and sum. Chat GPT data analyst finished the work and provide the file for me to download. I click on the link and download this Excel file. This is the file I downloaded where ChatGPT data analyst use a sum product function. This is actually a function much harder for average user to come up with because this involves array operations and also using the Boolean logic many people may not understand. So this is a correct formula using the weak range compared to the weak criteria multiply with the product family range against the family criteria, then multiply with the range of the cells cases. So this is a correct formula. For people who do understand only formula, they will use this. But I would say most analysts, they wouldn't know about this formula. So the other formula for dry goods is good. The formula for frozen is good. The formula for finger food, they're all correct too. Here you have it. It may seem to be so simple and straightforward to ask ChatGPT data analyst to write the formula for us within Excel. But actually, it's not really that straightforward. I did have to change my prompt multiple times to get the right result. So you do have to learn a little bit about how to write the effective prompt to get the desired result. Now let me show you how you can add data analyst into your ChatGPT account. First of all, Data Analyst is not available in the free basic ChatGPT account. It's only available in the paid 
plus and team account. So in the plus and team, it includes the advanced data analysis, which is data analyst customized GPT. On the left side, you will see chat GPT. You will also see explore GPTs. You click on this, that will show you all those customized GPTs available. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see one category of GPTs, which is created by ChatGPT. And then here you have this data analyst. You click on that. You can start the chat right away, or you can click on three dots to keep this in sidebar. So now we have this in sidebar. Then every time you don't have to go to the explore GPT to go to data analyst, you can click over here directly to start the chat with data analyst. Now, I want to give you a little bit background about this data analyst Cosmic GPT. This was actually originally released as code interpreter plugin back in July 2023. And then in September 2023, it was renamed as Advanced Data Analysis, still as a plugin. And later in the year 2023, it was renamed again as Data Analyst and became a Cosmic GPT. In the first half year, this code interpreter slash advanced data analysis slash data analyst was not able to do anything within Excel file directly. It can only take your instruction, take your Excel file, and then run Python code to do all the things it needs to do and then give you the result as values. When that created chart, it's giving a picture, not an Excel chart object. But since January 2024, this Data analyst tool is able to execute Excel commands directly within Excel file. It can write formulas, create Excel chart as true Excel chart object, not as pictures. And one more thing, OpenAI also later integrate this data analyst tool inside the ChatGPT4. So if I go to ChatGPT by using ChatGPT4, now, the ChatGPT4 has all those capabilities the data analyst has. So it's been integrated together. You don't have to use a separate tool. You can simply use ChatGPT4 to write your prompt, to drop your file over here. It can do all those analysis, writing formula with Excel file directly. Personally, on one hand, I do not believe AI will replace human analysts completely. AI is a tool that always requires human analysts to use the tool properly. On the other hand, imagine in one department, there are three analysts working there. Now, with the AI tools such as ChatGPT Data Analyst or Microsoft Copilot, they will not require all three analysts anymore. They may require just one analyst and this one person is so good at using AI, and he or she may become so effective, so efficient, so productive, and this one analyst can do all the work the three analysts used to do in the past. So if you are an analyst, or you may not have an analyst title, but your work involves data analysis, I believe it's essential to keep learning AI, so we're not left behind and being obsolete. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so we can learn and grow together as AI's analytical capability continue to grow. Thank you.